I have a question. How good is Scythe with this new hyperspeed backdash? I say as I walk the entire length of the stage and then just downsig in the reverse direction. Absolutely no movement baits going on there. But you know what I'm trying to posit here, right? Scythe is one of the weapons that benefits the most from tricking your opponent and baiting them to go for an attack like that, for example, and then missing a, a little bit of a dodge there. Well, I got it the first time and then completely whiffed. I guess that's the true Scythe experience, which I have been missing. It's actually been a really long time since I've dedicated any or played really any Scythe at all, because most of these videos that I'm making, it's just one-off recordings of a character or of a, I'm just gonna say individual character videos and then covering the new stuff and then covering the news stuff. I, I really have not had any time to dedicate to Scythe at all in the past, I don't know, <laughs> which clearly you can tell a little bit. And especially when Battle Boots came out, I mean, that was all I was playing. So with two hours on average clocked in every couple weeks, there's not a lot of time to grow and improve, I think. You saw the idea. Nor is there really time to hone the craft. I mean, I'm much worse than I was a couple years ago. So I'm excited to try and play the new Dash Scythe with some fresh eyes. I don't know if that really adds up because it's not like the Scythe moveset is new, but you know what I'm trying to say here. It's new movement, new options, and that's always a grand time. I think you can really bait out dodges or attacks like that, for example, by faking that you're going in and then just jumping out at the last second like that. And then, yeah, they just don't know where you're going. They don't know where you're coming from. It's a bit of goofy fun. I expect that I'm going to have some, uh, some mistakes stakes here and there, like let's say jumping off the stage, but I do want to see if I can go for some fancy schmancy stuff in the meantime as well. If they didn't dodge up there, that would have been a, a different way to end the game. I said this in last week's video, but it still kind of rings true today because time is a farce and everything you know is a, a nightmare, 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 nightmare. I'm just recording this on the same day. It's literally right after. I had a really, really long week. And so if I'm uh, if I'm a little bit off today, that's why. I mean, I guess I'm kind of always a, a little bit off. <laughs> But you know what? I met someone yesterday and they told me, you know, you're the most normal person I've ever met. And so I'm taking that to the bank. And I also made that up. Anyway, the point of why I bring that up is because if I'm saying and what I'm saying and when it doesn't make sense, you know why. Like normally, okay, let's say I'm normally at maybe about 60% energy. Today is probably 20%. So yeah, videos, I'm not always at optimal because I just, it's just, it's just, it's just a lot. But today it's going to be a lot less. Or more. I kind of lost this analogy in the middle of it. Also, this Mako is reminding me. I want to try Greatsword with these backdash changes as well, because that is definitely a weapon that could benefit big time from being on stage. I think so could we. Back on topic though, Scythe and honestly Katars too are probably two weapons that could benefit so huge big time from these changes because you're just able to bait out movement like crazy and go for like wacky wacky options like that for example that it's just faster than normal. And for weapons that are so string based and bait based like uh, doing stuff quickly, you don't know where I'm going. Where where am I going? I don't even know where I'm going because I can't hit my opponent. In general, I feel like stuff that makes the movement options like this, <laughs> this is like a little stronger. Weapons like bow that have really strong ground control, weapons like Scythe that have really good options that can also counter in the air, they're going to get a buff. They're going to get a buff in their control and just how much space they can cover. Space coverage is one of the hardest things to, to properly see and analyze in Brawlhalla. It comes with experience mostly, but it's just the control you have. If people ever make you feel uncomfortable, it's probably because they have space control over you. And a lot of the time, that's the difference maker between psychologically you think, oh, I'm playing bad, when the reality is someone is actually making you play bad because you're being put into bad positions. And that goes especially for Scythe. I mean, half of the kit, they send you in awkward positions that you don't normally want to be in. So any kind of change that boosts those properties makes opponents more uncomfortable or you can attack at a positions where normally you can't be for and they think they're safe but they're not safe. Uh, uh, Scythe is going to benefit of course from that and we'll see. Maybe I can bait out some stuff like here and then I go back, I go back, I go back and then I go in and they don't exactly know when I'm going to attack but I do. Um, that's also kind of a lie. I don't really know. I I'm just mashing a little bit. I'm having fun with early onset carpal tunnel. I do wonder what it's going to look like when it gets changed. The backdash I mean because they said this is the fastest it's ever going to be and I have a feeling it's going to get nerfed at least a little bit but so far what i've been saying does ring true i mean you're able to bait like crazy like look at that. how you how are you supposed to track that movement I, you just have to read it at that point and like i said carpal tunnel arthritis i'm giving myself issues at an early age they have a dodge there yeah i thought maybe and then right as i did it i was like oh they're gonna be able to dodge this the scythe like this is what i'm saying i, I gotta get time to get used back to the scythe <laughs> good english get time to get used back to the scythe nice one really really and then and then i saved them I need psychiatric help. Maybe it's good I haven't been playing Scythe. You know, maybe 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 I just lock in the spear. That's that's what I should do. That's what I should do. It's going well. I almost read that jump. I was just a little tiny bit of a hair off. But I am glad there's a pit in the middle of my stage. A sentence that has never been uttered before. You just took part in a unique historical event. You should be happy. You should be proud of yourself. You should be thanking me for allowing your name to be forever carved in the annals of history. I try to go underneath there. I wish there was a pit in the middle of my stage. I started going for pit stuff and now I'm gonna die. That's, <laughs> that sounds a little weird. What's my name? Stanley Yelnats? Yeah, let's just, 
Let's get out of here. I can feel my blood sugar dropping by the second, so I think I can only do a few more here before I completely lose my mind and my marbles. But uh, either way, I think I've learned absolutely nothing. So maybe this video was pointless, but I'm having fun and my medical bills might not be, but that's okay. Some things can't be repaired and you have to learn to let go. This is sunk cost fallacy, the video. At this point, like what am I even doing? I'm just jumping back. Uh, and, and Scythe is great now. I think Scythe just got buffed. All right, well, there we go. There's there's your example in a nutshell. No, I don't need them like missing them four times in a row i mean i got the kill that's what that's what matters at the end of the day right all right we'll do two, uh, we'll do two more after this one this one doesn't count i'm gonna level with you here i forgot jiro was in the game <laughs> i looked at the character select screen i'm like who haven't i played i haven't played mordex i haven't played artemis oh yeah there's this guy so that's what we're doing i, I don't think i could have gotten a sayer there from that weird downlight angle but yeah we're fine now it's time to be all cheeky and tricky i really haven't done much mixing up i've just been jumping back and forth but of course there's so much mix up that you can do and, and you're going in and then you're going out and then you're going back in and then i thought i was safe from the spacing there, but I wasn't there gonna sig. I get scared sometimes. It's like a premonition. I knew it was coming, but I uh, but I wasn't ready for it. I'm glad they dodged because I would have died, but then again, I don't <laughs> Am I am I really glad? Sometimes I like taking myself out. It's like wine and dine, dine and dash. Yeah, right there. I baited it out. They thought I was gonna go in, and then I <laughs> I did, I did, I went way too far. Like I said. Don't tempt me. <laughs> See, sometimes I mix in a forward dash with the back dash. You do two forward dashes and then you do a back dash after that and they don't know. Oh, okay, they knew that time. They knew that time. I did it twice in a row. Also, I mean, the distance I was at was not a safe distance to be dash dancing anyway. I spot dodged there. I didn't get tricked. You didn't see me. I didn't get tricked. I did get tricked. I'm, I'm just lying to you. I am just lying to you. I did spot dodge, but it was that didn't hit. And I wonder why I didn't learn anything. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm literally just standing still. Like, what, what am I, I'm about to die. I like, I don't, I don't know. Uh, okay, spike ball. <laughs> Silver lining is there's there's only one more. It's on a great stage too. You know you can just dash back and forth and and, and bait people and fake people and, and it's and it's pretty nice. You see that you see that like instant movement like right yeah it's like it's so tricky it's so tricky they don't they don't know where I'm going. I feel like it's it's only fitting that it's the final game I did that the wrong way uh, that I'm finally utilizing it. But I mean I guess I did it a little bit in the past ones. Um, okay, I'm gonna ground pound into this. Why? I wanted to be the one to do it. All right, second chance, second chance, second chance. There's always a second chance. Okay, not exactly the outcome I thought it would be, but nonetheless successful, I guess I could say. There, I don't have jumps. Oh man, what am I, what am I going for? I don't know. Please dodge. It, what, 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 angle? All I wanted was a good angle, but it appears all I'm getting is an acute one. Ah, ah, ah. Well, this is it. The final countdown. Arcadia with the billion force and me with the negative defense. We'll see if I, I missed my jump. And I'm not the only one.